Nobody tells you the consequences of vlogging. A bee literally flew into my eye behind the waterfall and stung. But you know what? It's just all part of the job. <laughs> it's okay. It is a beautiful day in Toronto, Canada. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. I'm with Joey Genovese of Genoscapes up here, and I was at this property two years ago. It is quite an exquisite property. You built it how long? 2013 we built it. Uh-huh. And uh, this is, uh, it used to be a, a tennis court. Absolute paradise. Wow. Look at that water. Look at the size of this thing. Incredible. This is someone's yard. going to have a pond of, of this magnitude and scale, why not have a gazebo right next to it? You were saying five years ago you planted that sumac tree in one gallon pot yeah. and now it's probably literally 18 feet tall. Yeah. It's doing exactly what we wanted though. We wanted it to hang over the pond, give like almost frame the waterfalls. That waterfalls as as gorgeous of a waterfall as you can have and the fact that what's so nice about it is it's so deep back there that it just draws your eyes in. I mean yeah. it just frames out the entire backyard. I mean the fact is that everybody that's going to fruit from that whole house, it just draws your eyes all the way down. It's spectacular. I mean, some, that rock over there on the side must be a multiple ton of stone. Oh, it's huge, yeah. We had a pretty big machine in here uh -huh. setting all these stones. So over here we have our wetland filter. It's an 8x10 wetland filter and it's uh, down at this level here and then as you can see we have a waterfall falling into it and then it just kind of swings around here and then finds its way back into the pond. So I love the reflections of the water striders. There's so many water striders down here. Look at this dragonfly, this red dragonfly right here. And people are always asking, what about mosquitoes? Well, when you have dragonflies, a male dragonfly can consume up to 180 mosquitoes a day. It's all part of the nature. Build it and they will come. Joe, you probably never put water striders in this pond. No. They just come on their own. Oh, yeah. But yeah, check out the cool reflections of the striders when they're going across. What do people that come to your yard for the first time say? Because, I mean, it's a beautiful yard, yeah. but this is really kind of the piece yeah. de resistance sure. of the yard. They're shocked. They don't believe it can even exist. Yep. Most people haven't even seen ponds like this, and, and certainly not this big. And, How did you find yeah. Joey? What was the, what was the, pro how did this whole thing? the show with the, uh, well, the Canada uh, Blooms. Yeah, the Canada yeah. Blooms show. What is Canada Blooms? Canada Blooms is a flower and garden show that happens every March in Toronto. We usually do a very nice interactive this uh, display that has a lot of water and stone elements. Yeah. So had you been thinking of a water feature before that? Because one of the things that I love to showcase on my channel is where the idea of something like yeah. this comes from. This had been a tennis court originally. That's be what you were saying, before, yeah. Before we lived here and then the previous owners took out the tennis court, put grass on it and it was like thin grass. It never grew very well. It was very boring. There were no trees, no plants. So it was just this big open area. We had a wedding here and had a tent there, but after that, we said, we got to want to do something with it, so. Did you think about a pond, or was it the, uh, was his display that had made well, I think a pond? I, yeah, I think a lot of it was seeing the display. I mean, we had no idea. We never intended something this big. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very persuasive. He <laughs> does some very nice drawings. My wife was sort of, oh yeah, let's do that. We'll do that too, yeah. Happy yeah, yeah. wife, happy life. Yeah. <laughs> How have you enjoyed this? Oh no, enjoy it. I mean, we come out here all the time. And, and you're yeah. getting into the gardens. I mean, yeah. you're talking about different plants. I mean, you want to attract the wildlife, the yeah. birds and the yeah. butterflies. Yeah. We have a lot of wild plants. Not They're not all gar normal garden plants. They're, uh -huh. they're, uh, they attract the butterflies. Water is a source of all life. So when you have yeah. something of, of this magnitude, you're going to certainly help the natural habitat. Yeah. So what would you recommend to somebody thinking about living the aquascape lifestyle? Well, there are obviously all kinds of sizes. I mean, this is 
Yeah, this, this is, is a bit. This is a remote. Ferrari you don't, you don't water need, feature. Don't need it this big. We've yeah. seen some little, little ponds, and yeah. uh, you know the, the running water is great, and uh, just it feels very natural. And and you yeah. actually have grandkids that come and use yeah. this, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. What do they yeah. think of the water feature? Oh no, they like it very much. They'll come and they're very careful because they we don't want them falling in or anything. Ah, they're still uh, young. No, they're good. Love to watch the fish. No, that's excellent. Well, thanks again for being oh, a, no. a wonderful oh, host. Okay. And uh, I always, when I come up to Canada, I want to come up and see this because I want to see how it continues to evolve. And that's the nice thing about a water feature. It's never, ever finished. It's always evolving. The yeah. landscaping is changing, new fish, new plants. And that's why it's a, such a hobby because it's, it's a fun hobby because it's right. therapeutic. You get to invite nature into your backyard. This is a backyard in a suburban setting. Look at this view! What a deck! I mean, this is awesome! Look at this! Wow! coming up seeing this for the first time and I can tell you what I, I love the logs because when you're sitting up there that's just gonna disappear exactly. that was the point of that right yeah we wanted to get the water virtually underneath your feet while you're sitting on the deck you know as close as possible to the view what's amazing is we're in we're in a traditional neighborhood but this is about as far from traditional as you could probably get in somebody's backyard I love the vertical elements of the standing cattails in here and it's not an overly big lot no not. The water feature fills it all up and it just has a lot of different pockets and corners. Gives you a real sense of discovery to the whole yard. I love the stonework. I love the stone that you use now. The landscaping, did you do that as well? Uh, yeah, we worked that in throughout the project with the stonework Gosh. that we were using. Yeah, I mean, it was great. This is just a gorgeous bed. I mean, I love how you not only use wood inside the water, but outside the water. And then it's pathway. There's not a person that could come around that would not want to walk up here. I mean, the view from that deck is incredible. But when you come out here, it's just the attention to detail. It's just seeing all of the things in here that are just so unique. I mean, I love how everything just faces towards that, that living area right there. Yeah, and it's, it projects all the sound that way too. I mean, it was really with his seat in mind when we designed this thing, uh -huh. you know, because we knew where he was going to be sitting and what he was gonna be looking at every single day. This is not something that somebody would typically think of in their backyard. What did he want to achieve? Well, I think originally he just wanted a little pond over by that tree, uh -huh. you know? And then I said, well, why don't you do this? And you know, it would be really cool. Why don't we put it right here? And he bought it out this. here. Oh, he just liked the ideas, you know? He was, yeah. he was, this is exactly what he wanted. And what is this space back here? This is kind of unique with this reclaimed barn wood beams in here and everything else. And then he's got a guy straight out of Halo. You said this was yeah. for his son. He used to play Halo with his right. son, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so he incorporated this. This is a very unique thing. You did this as well, part of this? Yeah, so we just wanted to make it kind of look like a whole Halo scene out of the video game. You yes, know, almost like yes, ruin, yes. ruin S. Uh, he had this really interesting gazebo before that had different design elements to what we were going for here. So we just put this big rustic beam in front of it. So it kind of ties it all together and he still gets the function out of the gazebo. So the water quality is good. I see a wetland filtration here, but you've got yes. two skimmers. You've got an upflow wetland filter bog in here. Yep, yep. and just uh, various planting uh, pockets, little nooks and crannies, just create little points of interest. This has been in here for two years and it looks like it could have been in here for 20 years. I mean, it's just absolutely, everything is just so exquisite in here. You designed it for this, this seating area right up here, right? That's right. This is a beautiful little area that you have here. So how did you originally find Joey? Joey was outside of a Home Depot. Looking okay. Out, looking for work. There was a bunch of characters uh, standing around. I see that. I like uh, this guy. Yeah, so, and I offered him $50 a day. So, <laughs> he said, no, I'm just here picking up my mother, so I'm not with these guys. So how long had you been thinking about a water feature? He said it started smaller and then it just kind of expanded from there. And I just thought it would be nice to have one around that tree back there. Uh-huh. 
And then Joe came and said, that's a stupid idea. Uh, <laughs> because he says, where do you sit? I said, I sit here. He says, well, what are you doing with it out there? So let's bring it right up under here. So this is all his idea. I had no input. He designed it all. And he said it was really cool to have it come right up to like a dock. Oh my, it's so cool. It's literally what makes the design. This is why you were sitting there when we came in. Yeah. And he did a wonderful job. It's just from the design all the way through. This is a really cool space. So all of these come down. It's a screened in porch. Yeah. And you actually sleep on it. I see this floating bed. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, that's cool. Until three in the morning and you wake up frozen. <laughs> <laughs> what a unique property that you have that you've really created and you actually work here this is part of your office and stuff yeah. so there's a third year water feature yeah. what would you say now that you've you've had this for a few years um and what was it a good investment yes why so oh because it's beautiful mm -hmm. it's, it's uh decompression zone mm -hmm. get stressed and i come here and it's nice the decompression zone i mean completely that's a perfect way to say it's about a decompression zone you work hard you want to be able to relax and kick back right now how does your wife like it she loves it yeah it was a surprise. She didn't really know what was happening. We had come back from Florida. I remember I took her out on the bridge, the walkway across there, and uh, blindfolded her. And I had ear, ear, because you can't hear the waterfall. Oh, right? wow, yeah. So, bazang! And she was like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's, I think that's hilarious with not just the, I think it's with the earphones as well yeah. as the blind. Yeah. She did not know what to expect. Well, yeah. it is truly a masterpiece. One of the best things about doing these vlogs is getting to meet the people that live with the lifestyle. I sat right there on that porch for the last half an hour, just chatting away with a business owner that created this paradise in his backyard because he works from this area. He gets to be able to enjoy it. And it's something that he wasn't even really thinking about. He just wanted to be back here next to this tree. And then Joey, an artist comes involved and he actually designs it so that it's an entire backyard oasis. That's what we love to work with our customers. We like to tell people, don't give customers what they ask for, give them what they want. And that's the lifestyle. If you like this stuff and you'd like to live the Aquascape lifestyle yourself, check out the link below for certified Aquascape contractors, just like Joey, all over North America, even the world that can build a lifestyle like this for you, because this is what we love to do. And I love my job going out and seeing people living the aquascape lifestyle.